Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn what is loading UI and we are going to cover the following topic also that what is the use of a role of loading.jsx, js or tsx file for loading UI and how we can fit spinner in loading page that we are going to cover in this video number 25. So what is loading UI? Just I tell you with the example here. This is our application and in this application suppose uh, under the app I create new route so I say student under this student I create page.tsx because I am using TypeScript then I say RAFCE and here we have page so I display here under h1 I say student home page and here we can use Telvin also so I say font bold I can say extra bold and I say text and I say excel size I am increasing so this is student home page and I also add this under the navigation so this is product home so after this product or home I just copy and paste here and here I say student and here I change the URL to a student simple one refresh and I try to click on this student and you see that student home page is coming here remember that if I make this application delay you see in this student page suppose I create a dummy function I say here const I say wait and this should be wait then I say arrow function like this and I say this is async and here I say ms millisecond and of number type and here I return new promise and here I say resolve arrow function I'm using and inside this I say set timeout and here I say resolve and I pass ms so like this I implement this and I call it here try to make this application slow so I say await wait and I say 5000 remember and I put here async also so this type of thing I am trying to implement and go to this and refresh and now I click on home no problem home is coming very soon and I click on a student and you will see that I'm, I have clicked on a student and it taking lot of time you see and after five seconds this page is coming remember that so while we are transferring the control from home to student this application is posing for five seconds you see it posing and it taking lot of time you see is spinning I click on about and I do refresh of this you see automatically page is delaying and I click on student I have clicked on student and you see it taking lot of time to transfer from home to student because this is taking five seconds maybe it take long time to be load so to overcome this gap means hey, this time when I click on student then this page is busy and we can't do anything on other pages also and it looks so old and if data is coming from the server and your page is delay then it should show some kind of uh, some kind of spinner uh, illusion or some type of different uh, you can say text should come on onto the page and it should give you a, some impression that something is loading behind and that's why this page is taking too long so for doing that we have to do one thing that we have to create here one file that is called loading.tsx because I'm using TypeScript so I'm saying loading.tsx if you are using JavaScript you can use JSX or JS then I say RAFCE remember and here is loading is coming so I just convert to dot 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 you see three time I'm converting this dot 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 so now you see the magic here when I go to home page you see and I refresh it once again and after that I click on a student page you see that loading is coming so it's showing that something is loading behind so this student is taking a time of five seconds remember that if it is taking a five second time then it's showing loading 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 and then it show the page that means if if this page is delay by some you can say some some work behind 
at the back end then this loading ui will come forward and it will display text that loading and remember that because of this loading impression we assume that yeah something is loading behind suppose i click student so loading is coming that means something is coming here so it give the good impression to the website that yeah data is coming from the server so in place of this simple loading text we can also use a spinner so i have created a spinner in tailwind css you see this is the spinner component that i have already created you can also create this with the help of google or with the help of your tailwind website so from the tailwind website i just copy this animated spin and by some tips and trick of css i just modify this component and if i use this component this component is also so available on internet you can use from there so if in place of this i use a spinner here remember that if i use this spinner in place of text like this and now once again i just go to the page here and i click on student you will see that this spinner is coming here in place of text but this spinner is coming in the corner so we can also set in the center of the screen so i say class name i say h screen then i say here flex then i say uh, justify to the center then i say item items to the center so i save this and i try to see now next time so i click on a bar home then i click on a student and you see that at center of the screen this is coming and spinning and it's showing you that something is loading behind you see i click on a student because this time it is very fast is not using streaming remember that this time is very very fast so this time you see it loading the page so if it's loading page then it show this loading ui and if it is not loading the page it loading from the cache then it would not show but if i refresh it you see in refreshing because it directly contacting from the behind you see that if i refresh this page so during the refreshing so it do not take data from the cache so it loading ui is coming so like this way you can use this uh, loading ui concept to show that something is loading behind so you can see that what is loading ui loading ui means to fill the gap between the page and the server and whatever the time is page is taking to load a data then this time is filled by this ui so this ui automatically load with the help of loading.jsx js or tsx file so whatever you write in this file it automatically comes in place of the page which you are using and remember that we have also set up the spinner also this loading ui coding of this spinner is there it's a simple one nothing special in it just we are using animated spin this is a class available in talvin css then inline block we are using size is 10 you can increase the size border is 3 then we are using the color blue here so rounded full we are using this these properties so you can use this property otherwise you can copy from the internet also the same coding or same css is also available on internet just type the spinner in talvin css and you will get this type of coding paste this in a separate component and use it in loading.tsx file so like this way you can make a spinner with the help of loading ui in your application i think now you understand what is the role of loading ui in next video we will also see the use of streaming in next js if you like this video please consider to subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video